you know, no one's watching yet, so I get to do that fun stuff right now. Uh, we'll give a second, see if some people tune in here. Uh, well, good afternoon. I am Molly Sudalnik here with the Operation Change Springfield, trying to spread the wealth of health throughout Springfield, Illinois, and just trying to change our community to a more health-minded area so that we can continue to spread this, have easier access to information and tools around town. So hopefully we will accomplish a small piece of that doing uh, these videos, emails. If you guys have not subscribed to our Facebook page, you can scroll up on our page when you get to our home page and you can subscribe right there. It's very easy to do. You can also click uh, sign up and you can sign up for free and receive all the emails and notifications that we send out. There's no junk mail. Hello, mother. <laughs> I can see who's watching. So when you guys uh, log on, maybe I'll give you a little shout out. If you guys have questions throughout this time at all, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer those. Um, so today, what I thought would be a, a good topic to cover would be why aren't you staying motivated? Why can't you get motivated? Maybe you are kind of on a, a wave of constant motivation and unmotivation. Um, so I wanted to discuss that today and talk about maybe why that's the case and how you can prevent that and get on the, the motivation train and stay there and start to actually feel good and feel motivated and know what to do when you do hit a road bump and, and lose some of that motivation. So. Um, Again, if you guys have questions, please type them in. I'd be more than happy to answer for you. Um, I'm gonna excuse the noise. We've got the boys working out right now, so maybe you'll hear some of their some of their tunes going on. Um, DJ Blake is out there, so you're gonna probably hear some good music along with a, a mix of Timmy's style and Matt's style too. So, um, all right, so let's get started. So I think one of the first things that tends to happen. Uh, why people can't maybe get motivated enough to either start a workout program and a nutrition program or maybe to get back on the wagon after they've fallen off is that people get overwhelmed. Uh, we're surrounded by social media that's promoting all kinds of recipes and diets and there's all these pictures and videos out there of super fit people doing crazy things. Um, and I think sometimes what happens is we just get overwhelmed and almost feel like we're so far from that that it's almost impossible to get to where we want to go. So why even bother beginning? Or maybe it just seems like all of that is so absolutely unattainable that there's no point in even trying. So um, I just want you to know that you can really get anywhere you want, physically, mentally, even uh, with nutrition, that if you just take one tiny step that's all you need to do to get it started. You don't need to be overwhelmed by these huge goals where I'm trying to lose 50 pounds over the summer and have some abs, right? Maybe that's not something you wanna focus on right away. That might be a bigger goal to focus on, but that doesn't mean that that's something you actually can't achieve. So I think what's important is to just take that very first step. Um, I remember this story about a trainer who had a client who was over 500 pounds and just felt like there was nothing they could do, that they were so far into it, so far gone, that there was no hope for them. So what the trainer actually did was just give them a, a small goal to, which, to, to hit, which was just to walk to the mailbox and back and do that every day just for a week. And so they started to do it and started to realize, okay, I can do this. This is one small step. This is attainable. I can do this. So then they started slowly building up their distance day after day, week after week. And then this guy actually ended up walking a full marathon, lost uh, about 200 pounds. And it just started because of that one little step. So maybe if he would have originally seen, you know, the goal of lose 200 pounds, walk a marathon, he may not have even tried. But what he did try was one tiny, tiny step. And that can have a great snowball effect on things. If you set a goal and give yourself smaller goals to reach up to that, when you start hitting those small goals, 
that really becomes super motivating. So you really have to appreciate every step along the way. That also goes into kind of my next um, topic here regarding motivation, which is maybe your goal setting is not where it needs to be. Are you setting too big of goals? Are they realistic goals? I don't think there's anything wrong with setting a big dream goal to have, but you have to understand that in order to get to that big goal, there has to be smaller goals set along the way. So this could apply to weight loss. Maybe uh, you're an athlete out there who doesn't have a pull up even yet, but you really want to do a muscle up someday. Um, so for example, using that as our example of uh, the muscle up, which is a, a deep, deep pull up into a dip out of the high rings hanging uh, if you guys aren't familiar with that movement. So first step would be maybe to accomplish an assisted pull-up and use a, a Gravitron type of machine or some resistance bands to help yourself start building up that pull-up and achieve that goal first. And then maybe there's another goal associated after that, which would be getting a body weight push-up and continuing to press, progress on with goals throughout the way to get you to that muscle up. So there's there's definitely uh, no goal that's too big. I think it's great to have big goals. You just have to set smaller goals along the way to keep you focused on that big goal. If we set this big giant goal and it seems like I'm never attaining it, never attaining it, never attaining it, that's when you quit trying and you give up because you feel like it's never gonna happen. So give yourself one big goal and achieve those small ones along the way. Even if it's for weight loss, um, maybe the overall weight loss is a goal you're trying to hit, but start paying attention to how your clothes are feeling. If your clothes feel better, something's going right. If you lose a half of a pound, something's going right. So we really need to be uh, pretty specific with your goal setting and you need to celebrate each success. So no matter how big or how small, if we start to ignore things, that's when you start to lose motivation too. Um, with our clients here, a lot of times I'll recognize their success, even if it's a two pound PR or maybe a five pound PR. They've lifted a little bit more than last time, but maybe it's been a long time since they've been able to do that, or maybe they've been stuck at the same weight for a long time and they're just consistently hitting the same weight. In my eyes, that's something to recognize. You've maintained your strength. Uh, or maybe you've gained just a tiny bit. And what I hear from clients a lot of times when I try to celebrate a success for them is the yes but. There's always a, a yes but. Well, I'll say, good job, that's better than last time. And then the client says, yeah, but I still haven't lost five pounds. Or yeah, but I still have 15 pounds to go until I get that new big PR. Or yeah, but whatever it might be. So. It's very important to celebrate every single little success along the way because it helps you stay motivated and it lets you see that you're heading in the right direction. So definitely recognize every little success that you might have and give yourself credit for that because your hard work all adds up to that time that you just arrived at. And usually athletic goals and aesthetic goals take a long time to actually happen. There will be small changes throughout as you go, but in order to see the big overall change, it's definitely gonna take some time. So be patient and celebrate every single small success that you have. If you're working on nutrition, every meal that you make a good choice on, you should give yourself credit for and be proud of yourself for that. Maybe even put up a system where you're actually tracking your positive days. I know a lot of people kind of count the days of good nutrition they've had and then once a day goes bad, it's like the whole world is over. And really what you need to do is if you've done two weeks of great nutrition and you've had a slip up instead of feeling terrible and feeling bad about that slip up and then going out and maybe having even more bad food because you feel like you've done so terrible, look back and celebrate the fact that you were able to go two whole weeks without messing up, where maybe before it wouldn't have been that long. And you've gotta have that mindset to recognize those successes because that alone right there can motivate you to go even further the next time. So every little success that you have, try to appreciate and be aware of. It might not even be a bad idea to start logging your successes at the end of every day sit down and think about every single thing that you've done that day that was positive or that headed you in the right direction and you can start to see that 
over time, those small little steps are really going to add up and you're going to start to make a difference in your life. Um, another thing I'd like to bring up about motivation, goal setting, everything along those lines, and maybe why it's not working well for you is I think a lot of people get stuck in this mindset where I've been this way for years, I've created these habits, there's no way I can get out of them, I don't have the willpower, I just can't do it. Uh, we get such habitual thoughts in our head all the time and what I want to challenge you to do is to actually visualize yourself being where you want to be. So if that's 20 pounds lighter, I want you to start acting like you are 20 pounds lighter. So if you're 20 pounds lighter, you're probably going to start eating differently, acting differently, taking better care of how you look, how you feel. And if you start to actually, sometimes you can even go before you go to bed at night, lay down and just almost meditate or visualize yourself going through a day in the state that you're trying to get to. Uh, I know a lot of guys want to be bigger and bulkier and more muscular. And if you start to act like you're already there, I'm going to tell you, you're going to start to reach some of the go those goals. For example, the, if a, a guy is trying to get a little bit bigger and more muscular, if he's just going on day by day acting like he's still a skinny male, you know, I've got a fast metabolism, blah, 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 and not really thinking too much about it. If he starts to act like he's a hard gainer. So he watches these guys who are big bodybuilders or have a ton of muscle. And what do they do? They eat all the time. They train really hard. They have a lot of protein. They take the recovery seriously. And even though maybe you feel like you're not at the point to where you can take things that seriously, why not do it now? If you start doing it now, you're going to start building um, habits to be at that point, And you're going to start doing things that are going to help you get there. The same goes for um, exercise. If you are constantly thinking negatively about how you can't do this and you can't do that, you're not going to be able to do that. You have to be self-motivated and talk to yourself in a positive mindset. I know um, this applies for even marathon runners. You can't If you go into things with a, a negative mindset, things are going to be more negative to you. So you really have to be a good coach to yourself. And I know a lot of you guys have coaches out there and maybe rely on your coaches to give you positive feedback. But once you can change that internal talk and keep yourself motivated, you'll really see some changes. Um, I know, at least in CrossFit, one uh, workout in particular that a lot of people have some negative self-talk with uh, can be Fran or uh, Filthy 50, workouts that are a lot longer uh, or really mentally taxing. And sometimes what happens with those workouts is we start to, it begins with a simple thought of, oh, this feels really hard. And then, man, I'm really out of breath. I'm breathing really hard. Should I be breathing this hard? Maybe I'm more out of shape than I thought. My legs are burning. Maybe my legs are kind of weak right now. Oh man, and it, we just get into this big snowball effect of all these negative thoughts going through our head. But if you can start to keep yourself in a positive mindset and tell yourself, I'm fine, I can do this, take a breath and go, um, and start to really give yourself positive cues. Now you've got someone outside of your realm coaching you and you also have yourself giving you positive feedback and when you start to think that way or even almost lie to yourself at first you'll eventually start to believe those things and tell yourself that it doesn't feel so bad that you are strong that you can do this um, and another line that I love for fitness related motivation is to tell yourself you're the fittest you've ever been in your life today you've never been fitter than you have been today and that's true for so many of our clients um, maybe you have been fitter in the past, so you could tell yourself, I'm the fittest I've been in 10 years today. So use that as some motivation to help um, keep yourself positive. As far as nutrition goes, if you are trying to achieve this chiseled body, you're not going to eat like you are an overweight person. People who have good abs and look good, I can tell you they work for that, and that is all from good nutrition. So if I'm constantly thinking of myself as fat or out of shape and not feeling good about myself, I'm not going to reach for foods that are healthy and going to help me get into that goal. I'm going to reach for things that comfort my thoughts. And what's that going to be? Sugars, uh, 
dense carbohydrates that give you that other sugar rush. So start acting like you're already where you want to be. Act like that fit person. Act like uh, if you're trying to be a competitive athlete, treat yourself like a competitive athlete. Start to build these habits now and you won't believe what differences you see come from that. You'll start turning into that person that you want to be. Um, another thing I'd like to bring up with motivation is um, every single day, every single hour, every single minute is completely new. We, the past is gone and it's completely done. We have the present right now, which you've got the power every new second to start living the life that you want to. So a lot of times what I see what happens with people is if they mess up, maybe they miss out on a week of working out, start to feel terrible, and then they decide, ah, I've already been gone a week, I, I don't want to get back into it now, or maybe it's nutrition, they fell off the wagon and they feel bad about themselves. So what needs to happen is instead of feeling bad about yourself and beating yourself up, turn things around and realize that the second that bad period is over, you're in a whole new arena of time and you can take that as you want it. So every new minute, new day, new hour, that's a new chance to start over again. So if say you um, are trying to eat healthy, somebody brings in donuts for breakfast at work and you have one and that was not on your meal plan, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it and feel so bad like you ruined everything. So you might as well go have fried chicken for lunch and uh, McDonald's for dinner followed by some brownies, right? You've just now done even more damage. But if you would have just overcome that, been okay with it and moved forward and realized, okay, that's done in the past, I learned for it from it. You've got a whole new day, a whole new minute to take advantage of a clean slate. Every single second that passes is a new opportunity for you to start living the life like a person that you, you want to be, that you dream to be. So don't let those slip ups pull you back and pull you down. Use those as learning opportunities. Um, one of my clients that I've worked with on nutrition, what we did a lot was studied and tried to really link what was causing these binges and these breakdowns and um, what was happening for this person was they were trying to be overly strict with themselves. So like we talked about earlier, maybe setting way too big of a goal. And then instead of giving yourself those smaller goals in between and celebrating those little tiny successes along the way, it would seem unattainable to hit that goal. Maybe they'd hold on to that for a few days and then something would happen and that goal felt so far away that they just gave in and completely took steps backwards. So it was this constant battle of going to the extreme and then falling off the wagon back to the other extreme. So it's this constant up and down where we're never able to, to find a happy state. So what worked for them was setting a more realistic goal, allowing a lot of food, but working on quality to stay full. And what happened was because they're eating so much food and they were allowed so much food and not restricting so much anymore, they were able to stick to the plan way better because they didn't feel deprived. Um, this goes true for a lot of different areas in life. Even mentally, we need to work on those things. It's easy to get pulled down into a negative state, and a lot of times once you get into that negative state, it's very hard to get out of. And I'm sure you guys have experienced that, where you get up in the morning and uh, you drop your toothbrush, and then the next thing you know, you're late to work, and then there's more traffic stopping you on work, and then when you get to work, somebody comes and berates you right away, and it just seems like everything's going wrong for you. And a lot of times, that's not the case. It's just because your mind has started to become in this uh, negative, and you start to notice those things. And the more you start to notice those things, the more you're gonna see them, and the more they're gonna seem to appear. So if you can take a second, stop, realize that that's done and over with and that you have the power to take each new minute as an opportunity to change things around, you'll see a lot of good things happen. Um, mentally too, we are gonna have uh, Majida on this week and she's gonna be talking about stress management. Um, a lot of that's gonna go with the mental side of things, so we will get a little bit deeper into that this week, but um, I hope that this helps some of you guys out and I know even I have trouble with motivation sometimes and I found 
through my own ups and downs, I've definitely started, um, I know I've talked about this briefly before, but I've been in a health and fitness industry pretty much my whole life, being around uh, my parents, but that doesn't mean that all this comes easily to me. I've also been through a lot of struggles. Um, I've been through a little bit of eating disorder problems in early college and had to figure out how to not use food and exercise as um, something that was totally in my control. And um, I've had to learn to appreciate the ups and the downs with things. So um, I'm actually quite proud that I can go and enjoy a cheat meal and not feel guilty about it the next day, that I can wipe myself off and move forward and still continue to make progress in the direction I want to, where it used to be the thought that once I slipped up, I just ruined every single thing that I had done, and that's absolutely not true. And I just want you guys to know that every tiny step that you take, every small goal that you hit, it all adds up over the long run. And no matter how bad you do, you still have those good days under your belt. And no matter how bad you do, you have an endless amount of opportunities ahead of you to do what you want to do and live the life that you want to live and attain the goals that you're trying to attain. So appreciate all the small things along the way. Give yourself credit. Make sure to start living life the way that you want to be living your life. Even if it seems unrealistic, treat yourself as an athlete. Treat yourself as a fit person. Treat yourself as a, a happy person. And even if you have to fake it for a while, that's okay because what you're just doing is creating habits. So you're not lying to yourself. You're just setting yourself up for success. And if you can continue to do that, you're gonna really start to see yourself succeed. So try to stay positive, celebrate the small successes, and be nice to yourself. And you guys will see some really uh, good things come from that. So I know this was a little long-winded, a little longer than I expected it to be, but. I hope this helps some of you guys maybe regain your perspective and if you've not been feeling motivated to dust yourself off, pat yourself on the back and get up and, and start new and even if it's just like we talked about earlier, taking that one walk to the mailbox and back and starting with that and celebrate that as a, as a success. Every small thing that you do is a success. So be nice to yourself, uh, stay happy, be positive and Spread, spread the wealth of health to everyone that you can and that you know. Uh, we're put here on earth to love each other and spread good messages to each other. And that's what it's all about. It's not about the money. It's not about anything else. It's just about making yourself feel good. And if on top of that, you can make other people feel good, you're going to be happy. It won't matter how much money you have, if you had a, a bad day at work or anything. All that's going to matter is that you feel good and you made someone else feel good. That's going to help you sleep at night. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We will be back on Friday with Majida. Um, we also, I'm putting these videos on the CrossFit Instinct YouTube page. So if you're having trouble finding some of these, if you just get on YouTube and type in CrossFit Instinct, it will take you to our YouTube page. And from there, I've put on our most recent videos and we'll continue to update that. We have some of our good interviews on there and other nutrition and lifestyle related videos that we have done. Um, another thing, if you guys haven't seen it, if you get on CrossFit.com and scroll across the page, there's a CrossFit Journal video that was featuring uh, my dad and our longevity class that we have here, as well as a journal article about that. And I think there's five or six more videos coming out interviewing some of the clients after uh, this has been released for a little while. So that's definitely something to check out. If you guys are still uh, have not signed up for Operation Change Springfield, you can do so. The link on our page at the very top, you can click sign up. You just put in your email address and you'll get included on the email listings. If you have other people that you think would wanna sign up, they can still sign up too. Even after the six weeks is over, I do plan to do some updates to the pages, so it won't be quite as often, but you'll still be getting some good materials sent to you and good things on this Facebook page, so feel free um, to share that with other people. If you guys have requests on anything, maybe topics that you would like to see covered, 
whether an email or a video or if um, you have uh, any just any questions in general please feel free to reach out to us we're always looking for content and I'd rather cover things that you guys want to see instead of just putting things that I, I think of out here so um, we love doing this if any of you guys ever need nutritional guidance I have a lot of people you can talk to a lot of resources for you if you need to just get started with an exercise program please don't hesitate to reach out and um, let me know I'm definitely not trying to push anything on anyone I just my goal is to spread health so um, that doesn't even mean doing CrossFit or paleo or whatever you might have heard um, but we just I just want people to move and be healthy and be happy so please reach out if you need it you can message us on the page right here you can also reach us through the CrossFit Instinct page or our website which is CrossFitInstinct.com you can also shoot me an email my email is just CrossFitInstinctMolly at gmail.com uh, so please don't don't be a stranger and send me your questions and requests that's what I thrive for so don't ever feel like you're bothering me that's what I'm here to do so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all soon thanks for tuning in adios